Welcome to AMI Day 9. Today we'll do 57 through 62 on the ULR review. 57 tells us to find all the zeros of the function, t minus 5, t minus 3, t minus 6i times t plus 6i. Well, this is already in factored form. We can set the factors equal to 0 and solve. This is about as easy as it can get. Subtract 6i from both sides. Oops. Add 6i to both sides. Add 3 to both sides. Add 5 to both sides. And we see t equals 5, t equals 3, t equals plus or minus 6i. Sorry, I got to scroll through again. Just touched the screen and lost it. So number 57. So that's 5, 3, plus or minus 6i, that's answer C. 58 tells us to select the correct graph of the function, f of x equals 9 over x plus 4. Recall, vertical asymptotes happen when the denominator equals 0. So we set the denominator equal to 0. And find when x equals negative 4, there's going to be a vertical asymptote. So we can look at the graph and see there are only two choices with x equals negative 4 as a vertical asymptote. That looks like answers C and D. Let's look at this graph. Well, let's just look. Let's plug in 0 for x and see that that's going to be 9 over 4. That's a positive number, so when x is 0, 9 fourths is going to be up here on the graph. Uh, we can look at the graph and tell that that's got to be answer C because the graph is going to come down like this and so that's answer C. You could also graph it on your calculator or on the computer. Number 59 says to determine the equations of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of the graph of the function f of x equals 3x over x plus 4. Again, vertical asymptotes happen when the denominator equals 0. Horizontal asymptotes, remember, depend on the degree and leading coefficients of the function. So here we see the degree on top is 1, the degree on bottom is 1. So that means the horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals the leading coefficient of the top over the leading coefficient of the bottom, 3 over 1, or y equals 3. So the horizontal asymptote is y x equals 0, or x equals negative 4. And vertical asymptote Vertical asymptote, sorry, is x equals negative 4. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals 3. Um, there's no correct answer on this. But this is the vertical asymptote, x equals negative 4. And the horizontal asymptote is y equals 3.